Pro. In our today's video, we are going to try to start a car with a dead battery in winter conditions. We have filmed a video about Jump Starter T7 before. You can check it out right here. In that video, we have talked about its main features and showed how to start a car with a dead battery using this device. However, when we were filming this video, the weather was completely different, with the temperature way above 10 degrees Celsius. That's why our customers have asked us on multiple occasions, how will the device behave in winter conditions? Well, as you can see, it's winter now. For more than a week, the temperature has been in the negative 20 degrees range. It's around negative 22 degrees right now. This particular car has been parked here for more than a month. It hasn't been moved or even started. The car battery is quite old and weak. It's very likely that the car will not be able to start after being parked for so long. So, let's check if this is the case, I am almost sure that it is, and try using the T7 jump starter to start the car. We have cleaned the car, now let's try to start it. Well, it looks like we're going to have difficulties getting into the car. The door froze shut. The car alarm remote control doesn't work as well. It seems that the battery is dead. Let's try the passenger's seat. Great, it works. These are indeed extreme conditions. So, let's try. Yep, it's completely dead. Let's open the hood and see what's underneath. Not too easy to be a car driver in winter. A 1.3 liter petrol engine is installed in this car. The battery is right here. I'll use a multimeter to get at least a somewhat of impression about its condition. Let's check the voltage. 3.7 volts. It's obvious now why we can't start the car. This won't be an easy job for the jump starter, but we are going to try anyway. Let's connect the device. We need to connect the clamps first, and it's very important to connect them correctly. Red is a plus, and black is a minus. The connection also needs to be very good. There is an important rule here that needs to be followed, which is don't start the car immediately after connecting the jump starter. Wait at least 30 seconds in order for the car to have a chance to recharge, so to speak. It's impossible to confuse the polarities here. Let's now wait for about 30 seconds. Ok, we're going to start the car now. Squeeze the clutch to make this easier. Fantastic! Well, you saw everything yourself. Jump Starter T7 has proved 
that it really works. Even in winter conditions, when the temperature is below 20 degrees and the battery is completely dead, it did the job perfectly. We highly recommend this product.